What's up everybody, Brandon Polnick here. We're in the shop doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna take you guys through and show you how to change the oil on your Yamaha 250 SHO. Big in two, yeah. Dang right, we're about to party. Oil on your Yamaha 250 SHO, and the same will apply if you've got a 200, a 225, whatever it may be. And the nice thing is, is that Yamaha makes it extremely easy and builds these oil change kits that you can buy online or at your local Yamaha dealer. Comes with everything you need, comes with the proper amount of oil, comes with your oil filter, and it's also gonna come with um, the seal for that oil filter, as well as a cool little drain uh, to dump your oil in if you need it. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, trim your motor down so that it's laying horizontal, and then you're gonna take your cowling off. So it's gonna have three latches, two on the back, one on each side, and then one up front. Now you can either try to remove this from the back this way. The nice thing is they have lightened these up so you can remove them much easier, or you can hop on your deck. Pull it off that way, makes it a little bit easier. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove this side panel. Now there's two ways that you can change your oil. You can either take this side panel off, which I'll show you, drain it out the side, or you can siphon it from the top. But we're gonna do the drain method. It's easy, takes a little bit less work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this side panel off next, and you're gonna have four side screws. So one on the back, one on the side, and then you're gonna have two more here, one on the side, and actually one up underneath the motor here, as well as two more screws that'll be up inside of here that attach this side panel. So these are all gonna be Allen wrenches on the side, and then those top two are Phillips heads. So we'll go ahead and finish taking these off this side. And this one underneath. And then what you have is, I like to try to keep all my screws together, and this panel then should be able to separate and it sits on two little rubber tabs, so you kind of push it forward. There we go. So those two little rubber gaskets sit on those little knobs there. Set that off to the side, and then you're going to take a 14 millimeter. This is where your drain is going to be for your oil. But before I do that, I'm gonna take this bucket um, you can let it just drain down, but I use a bucket and position your bungee so that it will drain right into that bucket. Try to get that as close as possible. And then that way it will drain out the side here. And there is your oil. This would be a great time to say that I'm not a professional at this, but it's pretty easy. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, there's always a Yamaha dealer around the corner. But since we got the time and we are quarantined, figured we'd just go ahead and do it ourselves here at the house. Ordered up the oil kit. All right, once we're finished making a mess and draining this oil, I'm gonna screw this back in. And then next, we will remove the oil filter. That's the unofficial oil wrench there. Yeah, this is unofficial oil wrench here. This one's, we're not reusing it, so it's okay if it gets smashed a little. Alrighty, 
Now, before I take that one completely off, grab our new one out of our oil kit. What I like to do is take a little oil and put it on that gasket. So that's the rubber gasket that seals it up right there. And then we will take the smashed up one off. And just like that, let that sucker drain in there and replace. Now there's a little cup right here that's gonna collect a bunch of that oil. You can take a paper towel and soak a bunch of that up or it'll just drain down into the oil cavity. But if you got something to clean it up with, you might as well pull that up and then screw this new one right back on. Next thing you need to do is come around to this side. Set my cowling back just a hair. And your oil fill is going to be on this port side. Gosh, dang, that is tight. Wow, that is ridiculously tight. That was crazy. I wish I would have let you try. Oil cap off. And slide oil over there. So the reason that we use this kit is the fact that your motor needs special oil. It's not like your car where it runs at, you know, 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs. It's running a lot of times 4,500 to 6,000 RPMs. And so it needs special detergents and a special formula for the oil to make that engine last. I mean, yes, they're super reliable, but you still have to take care of them. Still got to do the maintenance. And so it's going to take about seven quarts. So I'll just keep dumping this in here until we get closer. And then I'll start checking, checking the levels. So you've got these two dots and that's where you want your oil level between but it's not like a car where you want it full. You want it about halfway between these because if it goes, if you're all the way at the top, you can actually have too much oil and then cause problems. Um, so we've got all the oil in. We checked our oil levels. Oil levels are good. Oil filter is replaced and everything is tightened back up. So we'll just go reverse and put our side plate back on and remember it's got those little tabs at the front so you're going to want to slide that in there first and it's easier if you get the bottom one in first and then kind of rotate it up to that top one and pull it back and then there's going to be little tabs that lines up good but you just want to make sure all those tabs and everything across the back meet up well and I suggest um, doing these with a hand wrench first, just to make sure that you're not stripping those out or cross threading them. And remember this one down here is gonna be your longest screw. So when you go to put them back in, if you forget, this is going to be your longest one. So the bottom left one, and then all the rest of them are gonna be these same size, shorter screws that go in. And then you've got two 
that go right in top. Slide over so you guys can see in there. But these two hold this side and then there's two more if you have to take off the other side, but we don't need to do that today. So just do these two. Hand tie is more than plenty on those. And then all we gotta do is pop our cowling back on. Lock down. And you are good to go. So that's how quick and easy it is to change your own oil. Just make sure you guys pick up that oil change kit from your local Yamaha dealer or online at yamahaoutboards.com. So we've got a mess to clean up. Make sure you clean up your motor before you go dump it in the water, clean it off, get all the oil off, and make sure you properly dispose of your oil. You can take it down to Walmart, any of your auto parts places, and they'll a lot of times just recycle it for free. So thank you guys for watching. We're gonna change the gear loop. So make sure you guys click on that one and uh, learn how easy and quick it is to change the lower unit gear lube in your motor too. <laughs>